Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the second introductory video into Rainbow Loom. In this video I'd like to talk about the similarities and differences between official Rainbow Loom product and one of its cheaper alternatives that can be bought on the internet. Now I picked up both of my looms from eBay. The difference in price wasn't that massive. Loom bands cost about five or six pounds and Rainbow Loom anywhere from sort of, I've seen it, uh, mine was 12 99 all the way up to about £20. So there's a difference in price. Now I chose to get one of the cheaper versions to see what it was like before investing in the Rainbow Loom. So um, I'm going to just introduce briefly the contents of each one before comparing uh, them to one another. Now then, so this is the Loom Bands box. Inside there are some elastic bands, I've already used quite a lot of these to make the bracelets that I showed you in the last video. There is a packet of rather cheap looking charms, I don't know if you can see those. They're not great, I haven't used them yet because they look cheap. Um, of course there's the loom, this is made of cheap plastic, um, as you can see from my first video the um, plastic bits that hold the loom together um, are more sparse than the rainbow loom. These also come apart a lot easier than the rainbow loom themselves. For me personally this is the worst part about the cheap versions is th this little pick. Now in some of the tutorials that I've watched and followed you need to pick up a lot of elastic bands in one go. When your pick is made of flimsy plastic it means that a lot of the bands can snap or it just doesn't have the strength to hold the tension. So that is the one thing that I really dislike about this cheap cheap version of Rainbow Loom. And finally you have the instructions and these are great because <laughs> they're in the best English I think I've ever seen. These rubber bands are probably not latex free either unlike the um, official rainbow loom bands and they're also not very good quality I mean obviously this one stretches but they're very easy to snap as you can see unlike the rainbow loom ones let's just quickly push that to one side I'm bringing the official rainbow loom now I won't go into too much detail because obviously I've already done an unboxing video so in here you can see the difference already that you have um, like an inside part for a start um, the box is much heavier and sturdier than the cheaper one um, to be honest with you though the one thing I'm not that keen on is the cover art graphics whatever you want to call it for me personally this leaves a lot to the imagination it leaves a lot to be desired um, there's nothing wrong with it if you're eight which is obviously what this is kind of aimed at but that's just my opinion I like to look at pretty graphics um, it makes the contents more more appealing to me so yeah it's exactly the same contents you have your elastic bands which I haven't opened you have a bag of C clips I obviously didn't uh, forgot to mention with the other kits you do get S shaped kit uh, S shaped clips instead of C clips um, and you don't get very many of them but if you order another packet of elastic bands you'll usually find C clips inside um, you have the hook which obviously is a huge improvement on the cheap one in the other kit it's sturdy plastic you can't bend it and you can purchase metal tipped hooks on the rainbow loom website which I have done but I'm still waiting for them to come from America it also includes a mini loom which is the cap of this um, pick and um, I'm yet to use that apparently you can make the simplest of bands uh, I don't have one to show you at the moment using this obviously last but not least you have the loom itself so it's a lot sturdier it's a lot heavier um, the pins actually are somewhat closer together than with the cheaper loom I'm not sure if you can see but they are somewhat closer together 
um, which makes it easier um, to not snap plastic bands basically. You would think that the cheaper one is actually bigger than the rainbow loom but in actual fact it's not it's just that the pins are spaced much further apart and you can tell because I can slot my finger in this loom but I can't in the rainbow loom um, okay so we have one of the um, cheap ones these are quite stretchy but they just they don't feel of particularly great quality and they're very easy to snap and these rainbow loom ones they're not as stretchy but they are a lot stronger and they're also um, you have much more choice of colour and style these are the jelly ones they're not opaque like the cheap ones are that's my comparison between the cheap and the more expensive official rainbow loom uh, looms. These are surprisingly difficult um, to find genuine versions of on the internet. Uh, there is a plethora of information on the rainbow looms website about spotting um, knockoff ones if you like. This okay is a cheap version but they're not trying to be the exact same as the rainbow loom where, you've, where you can find them and the best thing to look at are photos on the internet if you can see that they have rainbow loom inside the blue plastic part then you know you're buying a genuine product um, of course I'd like to point out as well that I'm not getting paid by rainbow loom to make these videos I have just found it to be quite fun and interesting and a fun hobby um, and since getting into it I've wanted to order official rainbow loom products so that I can make better bracelets and other things you know figures or or rings or badges or whatever and it's always best for me I find that if you buy uh, the slightly more expensive official product because you know what you're getting for your money and you're not going to get ripped off uh, by people on the internet so stay tuned for my third and final introductory video into the rainbow loom where I'll be showing the metal tipped hook that I've ordered from America as well as some of the other bands that I've ordered and after that I hope to start my first tutorial video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the last video, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!